Welcome dear viewers, a few weeks earlier than her first ever live podcast show, Mary Trump, the niece of former President Donald Trump as well as one of his sharpest critics, says she's still sorting out what the live tournament in LA will entail. We're still working on format, she says of taking the Mary Trump Show podcast to a live audience. I think the core of the show is going to be what we do each week. Just have a group of people talking about the most important issue that's happening that given day. Since the podcast debuted in December, Mary Trump's Uncle Donald and her audience's enthusiasm to see him face legal consequences has often been the center of attention of conversation. On a recent show, a listener asked the host if she'd consider making a citizen's arrest of the former president at a family gathering. Mary Trump responded that she no longer gets invited to such events. Mary Trump, a niece and critic of former President Donald Trump, brings her podcast, The Mary Trump Show to Dynasty Typewriter at the Hayworth in Los Angeles, for its first ever live performance on Friday, October 21, 2022. Image courtesy of The Mary Trump Show, Mary Trump, whose book Too Much and Never Enough uncovered family history and secrets about former President Donald Trump in 2020, brings her podcast, the Mary Trump Show to Los Angeles for its first ever live exhibit on Friday, October 21, 2022. Image courtesy of Simon & Schuster, Mary Trump, a niece and critic of former President Donald Trump, brings her podcast, The Mary Trump Show to Dynasty Typewriter at the Hayworth in Los Angeles, for its first ever live performance on Friday, October 21, 2022. More recently, she says she's tried to steer the conversations with listeners, the political figures she interviews, and her squad of progressive podmates dubbed the Nerd Avengers, away from the former president, and extra to discussions of the upcoming midterm elections, and what she sees as the ongoing threats to American democracy. The live show on Friday, October 21st at Dynasty Typewriter at the Hayworth in Los Angeles, will include all of that plus a few surprises, Trump says. In an interview edited for length and clarity, here's what else she stated about her journey from being a not very well-known member of the Trump family to one of its chief critics and a political polemicist with an ever-growing platform. We're nevertheless playing around with things to add to the mix due to the fact we want it to be different. We want to give the people who are coming out stay some bonus material, so to speak, because a lot of times when people do podcasts live on stage, it's the identical thing which seems like a wasted opportunity to me. I started thinking about doing a podcast again in the fall of 2020. And it just wasn't the right time because of the elections. Then it wasn't the right time due to the fact of the insurrection, and then I was writing a book, which totally took up all of my time. Quite honestly, I just type of dropped it or actually forgot about it. Then Politican approached me, and it just ended up being a really good fit. They're certainly supportive and they basically let me do whatever I want. And it's nice to have somebody taking care of all the technical stuff. The layout has sort of evolved over time. I've always had the interview show, which is typically each and every Thursday. But every once in a while, I throw in an Ask Mary Anything Within Reason, which is what I call it, because there are some matters I don't want people asking me. It had been really difficult for me in 2016 now not to say anything. But I was also very well aware that my announcing anything would not have made a bit of difference because it would have gone the way of something else. It seemed pretty clear that Donald had complete impunity to do and say whatever he desired without repercussion, and I had no proof of anything. What is your take on this video? Please kindly drop your comments below and thanks for watching.